Hello everyone, today we're going to explain how absorption chiller works. So a typical absorption chiller looks like this. And in this video, I'm also going to draw this absorption chiller in three different perspectives to better explain the mechanics of this machine. So we first have the set view of the machine from the right, and then we have it from the left. And the front and back face of this machine is also labeled to better locate different parts. And then we have the front view of the machine. Three different types of thermal fluid are also used in this machine. The first is water or H2O, and the second is lithium bromide. This liquid has a very strong attraction against water and has a very high boiling point of more than 1000 degrees Celsius. And the third is the mixture of H2O and lithium bromide. The process starts as the collected mixture at the lower unit passed through a plate heat exchanger to be preheated and then to enter the upper unit and then to spray it in the upper unit chamber. We can also see this process in the left side view perspective. As the mixture is being sprayed down in the chamber, it will be heated by a pipeline from the hot water tank. As the mixture is being heated, the temperature will be high enough for the water to vaporize, but not for the lithium bromide. So vaporized water will stay in the chamber and the lithium bromide will be passed back to the plate heat exchanger to preheat the mixture and then back to the water vapor it will be forced to enter the right side of the upper unit and then in the right side perspective we can see it's being condensed by pipeline from a cold water tank the condensed water will be collected and then to enter the lower unit from the both sides as we can see from the front perspective, the water is being sprayed from the both sides. And since the lower unit is nearly vacuum, I'll explain why it's vacuum later. But the water will drop its temperature to nearly 4 degrees Celsius and then to quickly vaporize. So you can draw out all the excessive heat from the building heat pipeline. And the same process will happen in the left side perspective as well. So remember, I said the lower chamber is nearly vacuum, but as we can see, there are lots of water vapor inside the chamber now, and how do we remove them? Well, as the lithium bromide is sprayed in the middle of the chamber, it will pull the water vapor from the both sides of the chamber, so the both sides of the chamber remains in vacuum. As the water vapor and lithium bromide mix up, some heat will be generated, and a pipeline from the cold water tank will help to remove this heat. And this is all I have for today, thanks for watching and see you next time.